Hey, welcome everybody. Today I am joined by Rachel Long. Hey Rachel, how are you? Morning Jamie, I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm very good, thank you. Sun shining, sort of, you know, a bit of brights, a bit of vitamin D on the skin today, so hopefully. But uh, yep. Right, so, okay Rachel, so we are doing a mini series of um, interviews with senior accounts payable leaders. Um, could you tell us all about yourself, who you are, where you work, and a little bit about your job, if you don't mind? So I'm the Group Accounts Payable Manager for Breeden uh, Group. Um, so we're mainly sort of quarrying, uh, ready mix concrete aggregates. Um, so I've been here three years now, seems like a long time. Um, uh, and my role is basically I have 20 uh, AP team members um, split into three different teams. So we have an invoice processing and queries team, we have a payments team, and we have a major accounts team. Um, it's split that way for segregation of duty. Um, but they do swap, swap around uh, a little bit as well. Perfect. Thank you for that. So, OK, you've got one minute, maybe two max to tell me all about your career. So roughly, where did it start? You know, when you were when you were a girl, you know, a couple of years ago, um, right, through to, <laughs> right through to today. So just give us a bit of a potted history about where you started and where you've ended up. So I left school at 16 um when you could um my first job was uh, a bookkeeper and payroll clerk in a cleaning company right. um and then i went um to a packaging company um and became sales ledger controller um and the ap controller left so there i was i ended up in ap so that was about mm, 20 something years ago um and uh, yeah it's i've been in ap ever since so um i'm work for companies like Siemens, Bosch. Um, I was head of accounts payable for Balfour BT for three years. Um, worked in various different industries from fleet management to rail, um, to driver risk management, to aggregates, building. I always tend to end up in construction for some strange reason. Um, so yeah, it's it's been a, I've, I've had a few jobs. I've seen um, what's good and what's very bad. Um, also worked for uh, public sector um, which is very interesting and, um, yeah, something I probably wouldn't do again. Um, but, yeah, I, I always end up back in construction and, and at the minute I say it, I head up an AP team of 20, um, constantly changing. Um, I've seen a lot of different things over the years. So some of the guys, I'll remember um, the adding up machines that we used to use to add the invoices and batch the invoices together. Um, so I've seen a lot of change. I remember when there wasn't email um so you know i've gone through a few years of different technologies different systems um so yeah it's, it's been a, a very long learning curve um for me and uh if you just said I'd, I'd end up where i am now i'd have probably said don't be silly um <laughs> but yeah i've been doing this for a long long time now big small big teams small teams um i've worked on my own before um so i've done assistant and management accountant roles so yeah varying different things over the years and it sounds, Rachel, I mean, obviously, we speak to lots of people and you've been you've you've supported us in conferences. You've you've really got yourself in, into the community. You're one of our top 100 influencers. You're an award winner um, in terms of, you know, what what do you enjoy most about accounts payable management? Why have you stayed in it for so long? Well, accounts payable is very repetitive. I always find that no two days are the same. And certainly in management, you know, one day I can be processing invoices, um, getting down and dirty with it. The next I'm in a, you know, a director's board meeting. It's it's completely different all the way through. Um, I do love, um, you know, the challenge of it. And I always say to people, if you've got somebody that gives you a fist pump when they've got a statement rec balanced, they're an AP person. And it's that challenge and that different you meet so many different people we we also touch different all different parts of the business as well so for me now I work with ops managers commercial managers purchasing managers uh, contracting guys guys on site quarry managers so it, you're just touching so many different areas of the business um trying to explain how easy AP actually is and I think that's you know what what interests me Rachel is that I know that you know you and I have spoken many a time and you not only are being mentored yourself within yeah. your own business, but you offer that out to others. So, you know, in terms of what, what sort of advice would you give somebody that's just about to start a career in accounts payable? What would you give them? One piece of advice. People always try to make accounts payable complicated. Um, I think it's one of the easiest processes 
um, that you can do. The order's placed, the goods are receipted, the invoice is processed, the invoice is paid. That's as simple as it is. Don't try and make it complicated. A lot of people do. And, um, you know, if you stick to those guidelines, it helps people understand as well what we do. Because I, I go into ops managers meetings who are, you know, trying to complicate everything and suppliers this and suppliers that if you keep it simple it is a simple process and um a lot more people within breeding now certainly understand what we do um and and, and how it all works it's not a dark art we do try to make out it is but it isn't a dark art it's a very simple process perfect and in terms of you personally obviously i mentioned earlier you're award winner You've got a big team of people. It's, you know, obviously you've worked in construction many years. So what are your aspirations? What do you see the future looks like for Rachel? I always I, I always struggle with that question because I always never choose where I end up, really. Um, I uh, you know, a supply relationship management is something I'm, I've looked at previously, and it, it, I'd be quite interested in that purchasing, um, obviously working alongside purchasing teams. Um, there's various different things ahead of transactional processing. I know some of the big shared service centres um, that would be quite interesting. Um, but at the minute, I'm happy where I am. I've got a great team behind me. It's took me three years to build that team, but they're they're absolutely steaming ahead now. So for me, it's just getting everything settled. Breeding is going through massive changes, um, and I'm part of the project team on that. So um, for me, it's sort of just uh, staying where I am for the time being and see where it takes me. Perfect. And just before we wrap up today, um, obviously, you know, the last 12 months have been, you know, not ideal. We'll put it that way. And I know that you've had a small team of people in the office and I know you've had a small team of people that have been working remotely. So give, give our audience some words of wisdom. How have you kept all of those people motivated through these treacherous times? It's been a difficult one, definitely. Um, some of the team have struggled working from home. So um, what we've tried to do initially was we had a rotor, so so many in um, working in the office, so many working from home. Obviously, we again, when you're during lockdown, we can't do that. So we have a core team of people in the office, um, a maximum of, of four of us in, working in the office. Then... Um, we just talk to each other every day so we have team meetings um the team leaders will talk to the other guys every day and um, they'll talk to their team members we do have little chats we've got a group um whatsapp that that's usually about who's drinking what on a friday night but um yeah we we try to keep in touch with everybody a lot of my team are self-motivated anyway but we, we're still looking at things like the mentoring scheme so i've just Two more of my guys have gone into the mentoring scheme. Obviously, the APA courses, we're still promoting those. So they're doing those. I mean, two of my guys did a fast track with you last week. Um, so we're promoting all that. Um, so it's just trying to keep it everybody. Some of the guys are still doing AAT. Um, some of the younger team members are looking to do AAT. So we're still trying to keep everybody motivated and, you know, inspired and, and just try and get everybody to um, enjoy what they're doing, really. It's, it's tough working from home. I don't like working from home. Um, but we do try and work with everybody. And if anybody is really, really struggling, then we do allow them in the office for a couple of days, um, socially distanced. Um, we've got quite, quite a lot of desks with nobody at now. So we do try and, you know, get every, everybody in if they're really struggling with their mental health, just to try and give them a bit of, uh, to see some different faces. Brilliant. Uh, look, Rachel, we're gonna wrap it up there. It's a short and sweet one today. Um, from me personally, thank you for taking the time again to come and share your knowledge, your journey, your expertise. I'm sure the future is bright for Rachel and also the guys at Breeden. Um, thank you for all you do. Hopefully we'll see you again this year at a couple of our events, our AP yep. Appreciation Week, our conference. And, and who knows, maybe later in the year we might be able to do a physical event of some sort. So thank you from us. It's been a pleasure as always, and I'd love to speak to you as always. Thanks, Jamie. Speak to you soon, Rachel. Take care.